In this video, we'll learn to use formula to find volumes and surface areas. And we'll focus specifically on spheres. So we're looking at the surface area and volume of a sphere. That's the formula for the surface area, so 4 pi r squared. And we know what y is, 3.142. And r is the radius, so whatever the radius of the sphere, you'd be given that. So all you have to do is multiply. And for the volume, 4 thirds of pi r cubed. So if you input this into the calculator or try and work out by multiplying, that is pretty straightforward. But what we'll try and do is see why does this happen? Why is this the case? Why is it 4 pi r squared? And why is the volume 4 thirds of pi r cubed? So I'd like you to have a look at this and see where have you seen part of this. And pi r squared, as we know, is the area of the circle. So it's four lots of the area of the circle, the surface area. So what I've brought here is a tangerine to illustrate. So it's not a perfect sphere, but it's something close and it's good for illustrating. When we look at surface area, it's about the skin of this. That's what we are after or something that could wrap this. So the formula, as we said, is four lots of pi r squared. But where is that circle here? And I'll show you where it is. So if you cut this in half, this is the circle we're talking about, or this, any of them, because they are exactly the same. So it's four lots of these areas that make the surface area the skin of the tangerine. So what I'm going to do is I'll put this here and I'm going to draw a circle around it. This is quite juicy, quite juicy, so um, it's rather difficult to draw around it. So I'd have one and then another one. And another one. And another one. I will reinforce these once I've drawn around them. So I've gone over the lines again. So I've got four lots of the circles. So does that equal the surface area of the sphere? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the tangerine and I'm going to place the skin over these circles, trying to fill them. So we'll see approximately because this cannot be very accurate. However, even if it, we could be more precise, that would still be valid. So, four lots of the area of the circle makes the surface area of the sphere. Obviously, we can't be very precise 
as I said before. But I hope you get the idea that four lots of the circle make the surface area. So if the surface area of a sphere is something we need to work out, and then we need to know the radius, of course, we do four times 3.142 times 2 squared. So we can input that into the calculator or work it out manually. So 4 times 3.142 times 2 squared is 4. So that gives us 50.272 centimetres squared because that was 2 centimetres. So it's as easy as that to work out and we get the link between them too. So it, now it's easy to remember the formula where it's coming from. So we'll try and do the same with the volume of the sphere.